When we watch celebs swan down the red carpet, there's a good chance there's a style squad hiding in the wings. Similar to ours, bet take on a it, bow. Bet on it. And when it comes to megastar Amy Schumer, well, she puts all of her trust in one woman. That woman's name is Lisa Evans. And now responsible for over 25 movies, including my favourite, American Pie, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall, and This Is 40. Our very own entertainment reporter, Catherine Eisman, sat down with Hollywood's go-to stylist and costume designer. Catherine, good morning. Tell us more. Good morning. Well, you know, when you think of a Hollywood stylist, most people think of someone who fits whippet thin actresses in sample size dresses direct from the runway. So it's incredibly refreshing to meet one of the world's most powerful stylists who's literally changing the conversation from trying to fit into clothes to finally finding clothes that fit us. Inch by inch, curve by glorious curve, there's a quiet and desperately overdue beauty revolution rumbling. And helping lead the charge is Lisa Evans. I strive to help people through my costume design for film and my celebrity styling and my private styling to really reframe fashion. It's the idea that regardless of your size or your age, or your economic level, that there is clothing that best supports you as a person. Judd Apatow's go-to costume designer, Lisa is the tutorial eye behind many of Hollywood's funniest films. From Bad Neighbours... Just want to say welcome to the hood. You're welcome. Also, if you could maybe just... Keep it down. Anyway... ...to Bridesmaids. This is Dougie's sister, Megan. You must be Annie's fella. I'm not. He's not. I'm not with him. I'm glad he's single, because I'm going to climb that like a tree. And the highly anticipated Snatch to Poor Thing. You look awful. Thank you. We'll get through this. This is a long hug. Okay. All right. OK. But it was a fitting with funny girl Amy Schumer on Trainwreck that changed both women's lives forever. We started trying on clothes, and there was this feeling of, like, wait a minute. I actually like this, what's going on here? And I don't think she had had that experience before. She didn't realize how much we could tailor the clothing to be right for her as an individual. Hear these stories of someone like Amy who is so you know, funny and fearless and to think that even she is not immune to the kind of body shaming that's put on so many women. When she started to recognize that there were certain things that made her feel good, she was aware enough to just continue and to repeat that process. So inspired, the two women co-founded Style Fund, based on the belief that feeling great about what you wear every day manifests limitless possibilities. You might even call them fashion feminists. You know, there's this idea that we all should conform to a particular look, and maybe that's something that is um, started on the runway, you know, you see all these incredible pieces of art and we're supposed to emulate that, when in reality it is just art. Because we all have to get dressed every day, we take it for granted that it's something we should know how to do innately. When in reality, it's something that we need to put a little bit of effort into. A philosophy hard won through circumstance. I got thyroid cancer and it was sort of the impetus to my changing my opinion about clothing mm. because I always had this innate thing, feeling comfortable in my clothes, but then all of a sudden in my mid to early 30s, my body changed significantly. I gained all this weight and, and I suddenly had to figure out a way to get back to that place where I felt incredibly confident again. It was kind of life-changing in a really positive way. That I could feel as good as I felt, you know, 50 pounds lighter, then I could help other people feel the same way. We don't know the circumstances of why someone wears a zero and someone wears a 20. And it's kind of irrelevant because clothing should be there as a tool to support us at any time that we need it in life. Are you ready for it? Let's go. Things are changing slowly. At the recent New York Fashion Week, plus-size models walked the runway a record 27 times. Sports Illustrated are embracing curves, as is American style bible Vogue. Leave me lying in the truth.
These days, we hear the term plus size thrown around at an increasing rate, but many people take offense with the term, not only because it leads to body shaming by creating a separate category for larger sizes, but many of the women considered plus are actually average sized. I don't subscribe to the word plus size. I don't believe in it. I don't think there should be two different clothing stores. I don't know that dressing someone who is a size 16 or an 18 is very different than dressing someone who is a zero or a two because it's all about proportion. So how do we dress for body confidence? Asking someone to remember the last time they felt really great in what they were wearing and to recall what the shape was. It's all about proportion. Once you find the shapes that make up the silhouette that's individual to you, from that point, you can just make it effortless. Number one color rule is you need to have one neutral and one color. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> I flunked, I, I get that. <laughs> Oh, right. that's, that's really fascinating to hmm. look behind the scenes. Have you stuck to the, the new fashion rules you learnt, Catherine? Yeah, I have. I just decided to wear pink hair with a yellow dress and blue eyeshadow. So I'm really keeping to the, the neutral and the colour rule. <laughs> 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 I've really gone all out. I mean, if you're going to break a rule, you really got to commit to it. But, but in all seriousness, there, it's so interesting that she's giving people, women tools in particular uh, to, to understand how to actually dress. For example, if you look good in a narrow pencil skirt, you might look good in a narrow jacket or a narrow like cigarette pant. And all these things that no one teaches you you and every day you have to get dressed and most of us walk into our closet and just really don't know how to do it to make ourselves right. feel and look good. So I love that she's, you know, really empowering women through fashion rather than mm. it being something we're afraid of. Mm. I think the real takeaway there is it's all about the silhouette, Carls, but can you explain it? Can I ask a, can I ask a stupid question? Can I ask a man question? What? Is the silhouette <laughs> like, is that the shape, the sh you but, are. But here, the shape or is it shape. like if you're in the back alley in the shadows? walking on your way somewhere? <laughs> or is it just like how you look now? Catherine, help me, darling. Hel help me with I don't him. Know if I, I don't know if there's enough help available for this. <laughs> no, you know what it is? <laughs> Larry, it's, the silhouette, it's the it's, it could be both, but in this context, See? it's the shape of your body. So whether yes. it's like knowing whether you like to be more covered up and narrow below, or whether, yeah. you know, you're got a t you know, you're yes. kind of narrow nothing on to top. Do. And so understanding your shape. Nothing, nothing to, to do, do with back alleyway. alleys. That's correct. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Clearly, I, I should have asked you the question and not Kylie, because that was the answer that I needed. Oh, We're I, a tag I team. I We're a tag the first team. Time up. Yeah. Um, I love the work she's done with Amy Schumer. I think she's fantastic. Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. Catherine. She looks Thank great. Yeah. How thanks, good was guys. American Pie? Uh, thanks, Catherine.